Now let's talk about global attributes. What is global attribute? So we earlier talked about configuration attribute. That is, we took an example of smartwatch and there we wanted color and that's how we set the color for particular smartwatch. But the same attribute we can use in other places like bags, headphones, clothing, like colors can vary in the same way, right? So that is like global attribute. You can think of it as a global pick list, which is like can be used in different places, the same kind of pick list with the same items. So that's where we configure global attributes. Now, what are the steps in configuring global attributes? So there are multiple steps involved. So don't get confused. We will try to discuss in detail so that we are clear with the steps. So firstly, some of the steps are same regarding how we can clear, create a normal configuration attribute. And then there are some additional steps. So create a field in the product option object. That is same. This is for so that we are able to see in the configuring product. Then create a field in the quote line object that is same as configuration object then go to configuration attribute object open target field add the api name you will see the step that is also same then select global attribute in record type that you will see then go to configuration attribute object and create new global attribute record create attribute set link attribute set with the global attribute using attribute item then go to product option related and create new product attribute set so let's see that in action. So we have a product called headphones. Let's check this product. Here we have uh, three types of basically headphones, the options, Bluetooth headphone, wireless earbud and waterproof headphones. You can see here, right? We have not set any configuration attribute. Now what will happen? I'll see how it works in action. So here I will put headphone. I see headphone here. I will click on select. And these three headphones are here. You can see this arrow only for Bluetooth headphones. And I, when I click on select, I can see color and which I can choose. Black, white or gold. The same color which we had in the configuration attribute. But here if you notice, I have not specifically created a configuration attribute. So we need to see how we set up a global attribute so the first step of creating is like in the product option you create color uh, as in that which you want to have then in the quote line again you have the field which you, with the same api name will create same like configuration attribute then in the configuration attribute object here in the target field you will be having this particular color but then when we go to the record type we have two types of record type configuration attribute and global attribute in this we will this time click on global attribute and here in the target field we will be selecting our particular color which attribute which we have created then what is the next step the next step is after we have created that, add it to the record type, then go to configuration attribute object and create new global attribute. So then here we have this global attribute. If you see, we have this one as attribute name color global and target field as color. See this attribute name color global and target field we have chosen as color. Then our next step is that we will be creating an attribute set. So this is attribute set I have created. You can simply go to this particular object from here. And here you'll be getting an option of attribute set in the more. Or you can add it as a tab also. And once you do that, here in the details, you can see that you can simply create attribute set name. Now once you have created both global attribute and attribute set, you will be linking them using the attribute items. Now, what exactly it means is if I go to the schema builder, we have created the global attribute, which comes in the configuration attribute record type. We have created the record for it. We have created an attribute set. Now we will be linking them together using the attribute item. So we have created a set. Now I go to related 
and you can see there is something called attribute item here if you click on edit see this color global is nothing but the global attribute which you created and this target field is coming from the configuration from this attribute set so we will be adding this color and then this is the set one which we have and then we have the sequence sequence again in which order you want to have it should be 10 20 30 so that if you want to add something in between you can easily add so that's how you will be creating it now we have configuration attribute attribute set attribute items then we have product attribute set product attribute set how we create it see go to product in that go to options related and create new product attribute set so in the uh, uh, headphones we didn't had it for all headphones right we just had it for the bluetooth headphones so where we will be going we will be going to the product bluetooth headphones so let me go there so i am in the bluetooth headphones go to related and then we have something called product attribute set we can click by creating new we can put the attribute set here what is the attribute set set one and then we put the sequence i have already created it so i will just show you here so here you see that we have name then the product option what is this product option you can click here to see more about it it's the same product we are talking about the bluetooth headphones for which we want to see the drawer and then we have linked it with attribute set so that's how you will be connecting the link once you do that and click on save then finally what will happen once you have selected headphones then here in the bluetooth headphones you will be seeing but same you are not seeing in wireless at ear pods or waterproof headphones why because for these two you have not created the product attribute set you need to create the product attribute set so that you are able to link now going back just to get more detail of this steps we have the configuration attribute that is the first thing we will be creating then uh, we have the attribute set that we will be creating then we will be linking them using the attribute items when it is being linked then we will be going to a particular product option in that particular option we will be going to the related and in that we will be creating product op uh, attribute set in that it will be asking us details of the product option and the set name all that you will be giving and that's how it will be getting created once we are talking about steps for creating global attribute because there are multiple steps to it it becomes confusing so have a cheat sheet of it that you will have to create a global attribute it's nothing but in the configuration attribute you can you have the page layout where basically it's a record type which is called global attribute through that you will be creating a record that is global attribute record then you will be creating attribute set uh, then after creating attribute set you will be connecting global attribute with attribute set using the attribute items and then you will be going and creating the product attribute set and that's how in the drawer you will be able to see all of them together and that's how in the drawer the option will be there for you to see the color also one more step to note that right now i went to in the setup we went to install packages in, in, in that i am here in the salesforce cpq package and once you click on configure here in the additional settings you see the enable product drawer so it enables the creation options level in the level configuration attributes so you need to get it selected so that you can see the drawer so you have to select it and that's how you will be completing your configuration steps